Alright guys, I'm back with another video. As you can see, I'm gonna spawn my favorite team. You still got the tag on. Yeah, I'm a, I am a Dolphins fan. But anyway, it's not about that. Um, I've just been feeling like I got to go harder because it's people They see what you're trying to do, but they don't support you. Yeah, no. I don't understand it. But I'm going to just keep going and give y'all great videos and giving y'all motivation and and while I'm doing that, I'm actually motivating myself. I'm talking to myself, really. I'm talking to you guys and myself. And um, actually, I'm excited to document some important things in my life that don't nobody know except my family, you know? I think I have a unique life, a different perspective on life. I think my story is different than a lot of people's, you know, and, you know, <laughs> I can call myself a bookworm, too, because I like reading and stuff like that, I am a bookworm, I'm an introverted person, I don't really like going out unless I'm, you know, going to the mall or something, or going to get books, or, like, you know, going to hang out with my family. I don't really have friends because... See, here's the thing about having a friend. One. A friend... Is supposed to be there through everything. Do anything. It's supposed to, you know, respect your opinion. You know, respect your personal life, respect your family, and you know, correct you when you're wrong. And not to sound cliche, but you know, it's hard to find real friends nowadays. With like, you know, dudes my age and younger. I actually like hanging out with older, older dudes because they know more. And I'm not the person that's, you know, looking like the oddball out because I'm acting weird. Or I'm not, you know, trying to smoke a drink or, you know, doing all the extra stuff. That's not me. I'm actually into learning and doing stuff that's different. I want to travel the world one day. You know, I want to I wanna go overseas, you know, see the world, you know, with a special person that I hope can be in my life or anybody, you know, if God see and fit in my life, you know. It's not, it's not too many dudes, you know, in my area that's really in tune with what I'm trying to do right now. It's my age or younger. It's always something. It's always something. So, I never was the person to have a real, like, quote-unquote, real friends or homies or whatever you want to call it. Because I was always a solo type guy. I always... I always stood up for myself. I never did. I never did run with the crowd. I always did my own thing. To be honest with you, I never really. I never really cared about having a friend because, at the end of the day, most dudes gonna stab you in the back. Sorry to say it, but you know. 
you're blessed to have a friend that's, you know, a dude and he gonna help you. He gonna, we gonna give you some advice, some real solid advice when you, when you going through something or give you some, give you some, you know, financial, financial advice or help you out, you know, buy you things, you know, not, not, not to say you got to be that type of person, but you you rarely find friends that's really down for you. Like, you know, that's really going to be there. In my opinion, this going to sound weird, but I think a woman can be the realest person on earth. A woman can be a woman who's strong-minded, can be your best friend because she understands how dudes are and I'm not saying that to say I can't hang around dudes because I used to hang around a lot of dudes that's younger than me and older than you but older than me but you know it's just I don't know I'm at a point in my life where I don't need I don't need, I got brothers anyway, so I, why would I, why would I want to hang out with dudes that's older than me or younger than me? I, were, I already hang out with too many dudes, you know, I grew up around dudes my whole life, got a lot of dudes that's cousins, you know, and why would I want to hang out with you? I'm sorry. But I'm open to, you know, having a great friend that's going to really that's that's outside of my comfort zone. I'm trying to learn new things, you know, see see different places, live in a different place, you know. I'm not trying to stay. I'm not starting, trying to stay down here for the rest of my life. I already see my life in a bigger picture, if God sees fit, you know. And I already know that God has a plan for me, so I'm just trying to balance myself with God and align myself with God and to see what he really has for me and I'm excited for it and I'm really I'm excited for my life I already know it's gonna be great things that happen for me I'm excited I'm really excited